Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Doug Strange. Um, I'm the Assistant Athletics Director for Campus Athletics, which encompasses club sports and immersions and fitness at Lehigh University. And we're going to take you on a tour of Taylor Gym today. And this is my assistant. Hi everyone, I'm Jenna Albano. I'm uh, the Assistant Manager for Fitness and Instructional Programs here. Welcome to our second home, Taylor Gym. Um, and we'd love to take you on a tour of all the um, spaces that are available to all students, faculty, and staff at Lehigh. First thing that gets you in the door is your Lehigh ID card. So this um, facility is open to all students, faculty, staff. The only thing you need to get in is your ID card. You're going to see our desk attendants when you come in, tap it at the desk, and come on with us and we'll show you where we're going to go from here. This is the home of Lehigh Athletics as well, so our main uh, athletic office. Our coaches are in here. The fitness center that we're going to show you is open to um, faculty, staff, students. Our athletes train at a separate facility on the other side of the mountain. House in Jacob's Pool. So, welcome everybody. This is the Jacob's Pool. This serves as our varsity athletics training facility uh, as well as our open rec swim. And during the day, we have um, midday hours as well as we have evening hours. And um, you can see it's a nice facility. And we have lifeguards on uh, during our rec swim times. We're going to turn around and go into the, uh, the fitness facility. So welcome to the Welch Fitness Center and Racket Sports Complex. This is a three floor, 10,000 square foot fitness facility with a cardio deck, uh, strength floor, and up the stairs we have two racquetball, two squash courts, which we'll take you to, as well as uh, our indoor climbing wall. Uh, we are open uh, morning hours and evening hours. We're open seven days a week. Uh, as we get going here, uh, post COVID, we'll be expanding our hours uh, and typically during the semester, we're open about 17 hours a day uh, for your use here. Uh, there is um, rental equipment available. So again, with your Lehigh ID card, um, you can see our desk attendants and they will give you basketball racket, uh, racket, uh, rackets, um, squash rackets, um, what else, weight belts, weight jump belts, ropes. Weight jump ropes, things that you can uh, Which is all free with your Lehigh ID card. All right. So we'll take them upstairs. You do not need to make a reservation at this point um, to come in and use the fitness center. So again, anytime that we have open hours, you're able to come in and utilize um, any equipment that you want. Our busiest hours in the fitness center is usually when classes let out. So around 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. is our peak hours when we are the busiest in the center. So when you get to the top of the stairs to the fitness center, we have two racket courts and two squash courts that are available. We do have a reservation system for these if you want to ensure that you have a court available to play racquetball or squash um, or ping pong also. Um, we have those available. You can drop into these courts, um, but again, if you want to make sure that you're on a tight schedule, you can make an appointment. Next to the racket courts and squash courts, we do have a lane challenge climbing wall. Um, below the red line, which we'll see there, below the red line, this is available for bouldering anytime the fitness center is open. Above the red line, we do have top roping available with our staff belayers, who are usually on staff uh, after 2 p.m. in the afternoon. We're 22 feet at the top. It's one of the best managed places on our campus with uh, student management, and uh, we have a nice climate community. Here at uh, we also offer work study jobs. So, uh, all of our positions here in the rec center are run by students. We hire about 120 students that help us run Taylor Gym. And uh, we also offer 
ping pong for use on the racket courts uh, by appointment. And we do have a ping pong club that comes up and actually uses that on a regular basis. Come out here to Taylor Gym, and we get out to the basketball courts. So again, morning time, maybe not most, the most popular time to play basketball, but 4 o'clock in the afternoon, lunchtime basketball, very popular place to be uh, on campus. Uh, a lot of pickup ball up here, as well as we do some enrolled programming up here. Now and again, we'll do some group fitness programming in this box, so it's a multi-space, multi-purpose space uh, on campus. And again, it's an open rec space, so anytime that the fitness center is open, the basketball court is open, and again, with your Lehigh ID card, you can either bring your own basketball or you're free to rent a basketball with your ID card free at the fitness desk downstairs. We're going to take you into one of our studios. So this is our main fitness and dance studio on campus. We do have another um, similar studio, one level down. So we're on the fourth floor again through the basketball court. Um, in here we hold the majority of our group fitness classes. Um, we do offer group fitness classes, um, for, again, for all students, faculty, and staff. We have Les Mills Body Pump, Spin, Yoga, Power Yoga, Core Classes, Circuit Training, um, and sometimes we have other classes as well. Our classes are taught by all professional instructors that teach all over the Lehigh Valley. We also have students that always are interested in, in um, getting certified to teach classes as well. So we do recruit um, student instructors. So if you're coming to campus, um, you're interested in getting certified, or maybe you're already certified, um, I'd love to get in touch with you um, if you're interested in teaching here to your peers at Lehigh. Um, the other thing that this studio is used for is academic dance classes. So there are academic dance classes that happen in here, as well as um, club dance clubs. There's over 16 approved dance clubs on campus, so great ways to get involved, and they rehearse in here as well. We do have a studio, um, again, that's set up similarly, uh, one floor down. That's our spin studio and our yoga studio, so all of our spin cycles are in that studio, all of our yoga mats are in that studio, and we sometimes set up meditation in there as well. Cool, so let's from here, we'll traverse up to um, the top level of Taylor Gym is our fifth floor, which we have an auxiliary fitness room set up up there. Um, a lot of people go up to the fifth floor and set up their own stations to work out. Um, while we're on our way up there, Doug's going to talk to you more about how to get involved with club sports and intramural sports on campus. So as we take the hallway here, um, I do oversee the club sport programs and intramural programs and overall fitness programs on campus. There's typically nothing we're not involved with without, you know, in the campus rec area. We have close to 30 different competitive club sports on campus. You get involved with those. Uh, we typically run a freshman, or a, I should say a first year um, club fair, as well as a job fair, uh, really the first week back, uh, to get connected with those club officers for anything from basketball to lacrosse to field hockey. Uh, very competitive. They govern their own opportunities and, and events. Uh, and then our intramural program uh, is competitive within the walls of Lehigh, and so we offer things like dodgeball and basketball and other events. Uh, in for both uh, indoor and outdoor uh, opportunities here uh, throughout the year, which is great. Um, part of our fitness things that we, there's really nothing we don't offer. We offer special programs. We run incentive programs during the year. Uh, we run support for orientation center, uh, fitness facility as well. Um, and we're also engaged now with a, uh, those types of things. Uh, for sure, uh, just to go back to the request about food and snacks, we have vending in our facility, but we don't offer any type of uh, food or uh, we don't support any open container type of beverages. You have to have a water bottle, it's fitness facilities. Um, so you know, we, we don't really want food and, and drink being spilled around our facilities. So again, open level, um, open floor. So a lot of people come up here, set up their own station. We will run circuit training classes up here with our suspension trainers and ropes, um, kettlebells and different equipment than we have in our regular studio spaces. 
This is also the home of our rowing team when they are off the water. Um, so you see the ergs um, tucked over in the corner, um, but our, um, our men's and women's rowing teams will practice up here when they're not on the water. So really the months of November through March, um, when they can't be on the river, they'll be up here in the evenings or early mornings to practice. This serves as a great satellite place if you don't like the big box fitness area. It's a little bit more intimate. People come up here, and I believe Jen said it, they kind of design their own workouts, pull them out off the wall, get their dumbbells in place, do their stretching, do their activity, get a little cardio in. So um, it's a nice, comfortable satellite space. And we also do circuit training up here and other types of classes. So you'll find when you get here that Taylor Gym is a very, <laughs> um, it can be a, a maze in a, in a sense. So you have to navigate it and our staff is here to help you navigate it and, and get you to the places you want to you get to. So. We also partner with um, other offices on campus. So we will partner with the Lehigh After Dark program and offer um, glow spin or glow yoga or, or, or programs like that, special event programming. We'll also partner with different um, IFC um, uh, fraternities and sororities and hold special event or um, charity um, fitness classes as well. Whether we do that up in the fifth floor for a really large group or sometimes in one of our other studio spaces, we will host those as well. And here we're coming up on finals, and so we're going to offer, um, you know, free yoga classes as, as well as our meditation space, uh, you know, to kind of decompress as kids kind of get prepared for uh, taking exams here in the later part of April. And then we do have one question that says, how do you sign up for classes? Okay, Jen, I'll be Sure, here. so on our website, so a great place to find every... All the information that we're going over today is our website. So lehighsports.com slash recreation. That will get you to our club sports page, intramurals, fitness. On our fitness page, there's a link right there that says register for fitness classes. Fitness classes are um, for a fee. So there, it is a fee-based program. It's a very affordable fee-based program, again, to pay our instructors. And again, our instructors, um, I am one of the instructors, but also we have a team of about 12 to 15 other instructors that teach professionally. Um, and so in other fitness facilities um, may charge 15 to $20 for one drop-in class. Your whole entire program that gets you all unlimited classes um, is really, really affordable, always under $100, and, and we try to price that when we partner with other offices on campus as well. We will send information out about that and have the schedule solidified um, at the beginning of August. Um, right now, if you want to go to our, um, our web page, and you can go to the fitness page, and you'll see what our classes um, are available and what the schedule looks like um, this semester would be a great way to find that information. Any other questions we can answer at the moment? Let me just see if any come in. There are still a few people joining, coming in, coming out. Let me see if there are any other questions. So within Taylor Gym, you have five floors of opportunity with various studios, the three-story fitness center facility. We have locker rooms and lockers available for students, faculty, and staff. Um, again, we're open a, a, a large amount of hours, seven days a week when we're in the, the academic year. Uh, it's, it's a great spot on campus. It's, it's between classes to get workouts in. It's after classes in the evening. It's a great social place to, to meet your friends and, and do some healthy behaviors and, you know, have, have fun doing fitness here and, and get involved and meet people in classes that we offer. Uh, and so we're passionate about what we do and we're really happy that we could offer this tour for you today. here and I'll let Jen in here. So this is our spin uh, yoga studio. So welcome to our other studio. talked about um, so our spin classes and our yoga classes take place in this studio. Um, it's a con great controlled airspace. 
Um, we also um, transition this into a meditation room. Um, so again, on our website, we don't have the meditation piece set up at the moment um, because again, it's, it's multi-use. We have a spin class in here at lunchtime today, for instance. Um, but as Doug talked about, this space will be set up and open for students to drop into for meditation and just a quiet space um, to drop in you know, during the exam period um, to be able to just kind of get away, get away from your living space, get away from a classroom space and be in another quiet setting. Um, we also offer the meditation during the, uh, the academic year where we'll set up hours in here that people can actually just come in and uh, have a mat and a pillow and, and do some self-guided. And we also offer uh, some guided sessions as well with some professionals on campus uh, you know, during the year. So we try to offer as much as we can in the spaces that we have. And then someone did generally ask, do you participate in any national competition? National competition for club sports. Um, so club sports would participate in separate leagues. So we have some higher end uh, leagues for things like rugby and hockey, our ice hockey team. Um, Ultimate Frisbee as well. Ultimate Frisbee does really well. They go to nationals every year, uh, which, is, which is amazing. Uh, so again, the, the students um, support these clubs, they're the officers of the clubs, and they take the club to the level and commitment uh, that everybody can go for. So um, Great. I will say also Doug and I are part of a um, higher level conversation about health and wellness on campus. Um, and so we are on a um, university wide health and wellness committee um, and we work from pe with people, our colleagues from across the university to really try to um, collect all the health and wellness opportunities and identify them. So look for things to be coming out later this year um, that really helps um, the whole student body and the whole university connect with what are the resources not just within Taylor Gym provides physical wellness there are opportunities for physical wellness even at the um, Lehigh Art Gallery as well and in the Zollner Center so look for more information to be coming out throughout the summer and as the new school year starts um, about to really help you identify what resources can you connect with and kind of put them under one umbrella so you're not finding um, things on your own. Um, we'll make it a little bit easier to navigate Lehigh. Any other questions? I don't see any other questions coming in at the moment. Um, did you guys have anything else or do you want to wrap up here? I would say um, we can wrap up here and uh, Taylor Gym is the place to be on campus. Uh, during the year we'll have five or six hundred people in that fitness center uh, on our peak days. We have about 2,000 people that come through our building on a given day to come in and recreate uh, or come in and take a class, come in and use the locker room to go out for a run. So we're a very active campus. Um, we have a lot of hills and a lot of stairs, but people want to come in here and still, you know, lift and, and uh, you know, practice their, their fitness routines. And uh, we're here to help you in any way we can. That leads into one last question of what are the busiest times for the gym? Uh, typically, the busiest times are going to be probably 2.30 to 3 through seven o'clock it's not unlike any other gym when people get out of work and, and go and most of the classes end around 4 4 30 and so that tends to be a busier time now if you navigate this well and you know that then maybe you can squeeze your workouts in between classes and know that if you want to get on the equipment that you want to get everybody can't get on the same piece at four o'clock in the afternoon so uh, people that are typically very scheduled oriented and serious about their fitness will work around those hours and get here for the opportunity that they they look to have we also you know, offer the variable swim hours. Jenna offers classes, you know, midday and then in the evenings as well that work well with student schedules and faculty staff schedules because they're part of our program as well. And again, we're open, you know, late, late in the evening. So uh, typically those are the slower hours as well if that works out for folks. And like Doug said, with about the class schedules, we really do try to work around the Lehigh Day. So the Lehigh Day of our faculty and staff and our students. So um, fitness classes are offered usually every day um, at the lunchtime hour, so between 12 and 1. And then they will start, evening classes will start around 4.45 to allow for time for people to get out of classes. And they'll go until typically about 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening. Again, um, peak time. So if you're looking for a way to um, meet people, uh, connect with people um, and to have a guided um, fitness you know program 
the group fitness classes is really a great thing to get involved with. You will meet so many people, it keeps you accountable. And we recognize as a student coming from high school, you have to figure all this out on your own. So the group fitness program really offers a structured opportunity with a lot of different modalities of classes. So it has something for everybody. So uh, it gives you the opportunity to have that structure. If you put it in your calendar, you know that almost, you know, I tell people, tell people you have an appointment with me or tell people you have an appointment with another instructor and that helps keep you accountable for showing up um, and getting your workout in and, and you don't have to plan it on your own if you're not somebody that you know knows how to necessarily navigate it on your own um, the, the group fitness program will help you do that we work with students uh, we work for students they're our priority and like I said we had a hundred we have 120 students on staff for us we're very approachable uh, we've been here a while we know what the student challenges are and, uh, and we're here to help you so uh, you know please don't hesitate to contact us and we can either guide you or connect you um, with, with what you're looking to do.